It's my honor to introduce to the country a daughter of former public school teachers, a proven consensus builder, an accomplished lawyer, a distinguished jurist, my nominee for the United States Supreme Court, Judge Ketanji Jackson. I am Ketanji Brown Jackson. I have just had the honor of being nominated to sit on the United States Supreme Court. I started thinking about the law when I was really young. My father went back to law school when I was a kid. We lived on the campus of the University of Miami, and my dad would sit there with all of his big, thick legal books, and I would bring my coloring books, and I would sit next to him and watch him study and pretend as though I was doing work as well. I had not really seen a lot of colleges, except that I did speech and debate, and Harvard has a tournament. And I went several years in a row and competed in that tournament and thought, I like this campus, maybe I'll apply. I had the good fortune of working for a Supreme Court justice as a law clerk. Justice Breyer was an incredible boss and mentor. Uh, as a clerk, you help the judge or the justice that you're working with to draft their opinions and uh, to make sure that their thoughts are put down carefully in the law. And so it was just an enormous um, opportunity to get to see how the justice system really works at the highest level. I have spent my life admiring lawyers and judges from all backgrounds, but especially those who are African Americans like me, who have worked very hard to get to where they are. I have been inspired by Judge Constance Baker Motley, who was the first black woman ever to be appointed to the federal bench. She was a civil rights lawyer before she became a judge. It meant a lot to me in my career to have her as an inspiration, and I would hope to be an inspiration to other young people, lawyers, who uh, may want to enter this career and who may want to go into the judicial branch. I have had the great good fortune of actually having uh, been nominated to three prior positions that require Senate confirmation. I was nominated by President Obama to the United States Sentencing Commission, nominated by President Obama as well to sit on the United States District Court for the District of Columbia. Then I was uh, nominated by President Biden to sit on the Court of Appeals. And now President Biden has given me the honor of nominating me to the United States Supreme Court.